Hello students, welcome to my channel. This video contains class 7, Cyber Volumpioid for the year 2021, set TA question paper. You can also find other Volumpioid papers of class 7 in my channel. I have given the playlist link in the description box. Do watch. Before going to the video, please do subscribe my channel for more videos. Let's move into the video. The first section is logical reasoning. Question number one. Which of the following Venn diagrams best represents the relationship amongst triangles, quadrilaterals and rectangles? So all rectangles, all rectangles are quadrilaterals. Whereas triangle is different. Right. So this is the relationship between these three two. So your answer would be its option C. Question number two. Count the number of triangles formed in the given figure. So before going to count the number of triangles. So what would I do is I draw a symmetric line along this line. So that the figure would exactly cut into two exact half, right? So first we'll count the triangles in the first half. One, two, three, four. Five, then six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, then twelve, again. Thirteen, fourteen, then fifteen. So in the first half, we have fifteen triangles. So obviously in the second half also, it would be fifteen, right? So totally thirty. And we have to count one more triangle, the bigger triangle, this one. So 30 plus 1, right? So, sorry, 30 plus 1 gives 31. So, what would your answer? Yes, it's option D, more than 30. Question number 3. Which of the following options will complete the given letter series? So, first we'll write down the alphabets. Right. So now we'll take down the first letter of each terms. Question mark E. We'll take down the first letter of each terms. Now, what is the relation between these two letters M and S? Just look carefully. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Which means sixth letter from M is it is 6. In the same way, from yes, right, the fifth letter from yes, it's x. You can check here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here the pattern increasing by, sorry, the pattern gets decreasing by 1. So obviously, next would be it's plus 4. Next it would be plus 4. So what is the fourth letter from x? 1, 2, 3, 4. Which means the first letter of the missing term is it is B. Then we will verify or cross check with the next letter also. So it should be plus 3 now. Then what is the third letter from B? 1, 2, 3. So it is correct. So the first letter of the missing term is B. In the same way we will take down the second letters from each term. So O, R, 
B question mark G then from O to R see here from O to R so third letter from O is its R no so plus 3 then from R to V 1 2 3 4 which means fourth letter from R is V so here the pattern is increasing by 1 so the next would be its plus 5 next it would be plus 6 so from V what is the fifth letter 1 2 3 4 5 so it is A then we will cross check whether G is the sixth letter from A or not 1 2 3 4 5 6 yes it is correct so the second letter of the missing term is it's A then last one we will take down the third letter of each terms x question mark b so t to v means second letter from t is its v the same way second letter from v is its x so here the pattern is increasing by 2 2 right so here also it should be 2 and here also it should be 2 so what is the second letter from x it is is it so the third letter of the missing term is it's is it and we'll cross check with this what is the second letter from is it in backwards we have to count no so second letter from z in the backward is it's b so this is also correct so finally your answer is b a is it option b is the right answer question number four in a class of 45 students harshit is at 7th position from the top and Nitin is at 9th position from the bottom. If Priyanka is placed exactly between them, then find the position of Priyanka from the top. So now we will draw the diagram. In a class of 45 students, Harshit is 7th from the top. If suppose this is the position of Harshit means there will be 6 students before Harshit and we'll take the count of Harshit as 1 here right then Nitin is 9th position from the bottom so from the bottom assume this is the position of Nitin therefore 8 students will be will be there which means 8 students after Nitin are there right and let us take the count of Nitin as 1 now we have to find how many students are there between Harshit and Nitin. Yes. Let's take the total number of students in a class. That is 45. Subtraction. Within this, 6 plus Harshit plus Nitin plus 8 students. So, totally you will be getting 45 minus, minus 16. Right. Then, 45 minus 16 is, it's 29. So, which means 29 students, right, which means 29 students are there in between. Listen here carefully. There are 29 students are there between Harshit and Nitin. So, if Priyanka is placed exactly between them, if Priyanka is exactly placed in between them, then find the position of Priyanka from the top. So, now we will find out within this 29 students what is the position of Priyanka right exactly between the means we have one formula for this to find the median of a number that is n plus 1 by 2 so n means number of terms so how many terms are there which means how many students are there 29 so 29 plus 1 divided by 2 which gives 30 by 2 equal to 15 which means Priyanka is going to be placed at the 15th position of 29 students keep in mind out of 29 so totally 29 students are there Priyanka is going to be placed at 15th position right so the question is question is then find the position of Priyanka from the top if suppose if suppose this is the position of Priyanka right this is the position of Priyanka so now from the top already 7 students are there already seven students are there and 
out of 29 students priyanka is the 15th position so we have to add this 7 plus 15 so totally 22nd which means the position of priyanka from the top is is 22nd hence your answer is its option b Question number 5. Pointing towards a man, Krishna said he is the father-in-law of the wife of my mother. How is the man related to Krishna? So now here, he, he refers the man. So man is the father-in-law of the wife of my father. So my refers to Krishna. So my father means Krishna's father. Next, wife of wife of Krishna father. Wife of Krishna's father is who is Krishna's mother. Wife of Krishna's father is Krishna's mother. So now we read the question again. Man is the father-in-law of Krishna's mother. Now we can able to answer for this question. How is the man related to Krishna? Yes. The man is related to Krishna as grandfather. So option D is the right answer. Question number 6. Given question consists of set of three figures X, Y and Z showing a sequence of folding of a piece of paper. Figure Z shows the manner in which the folded paper has been cut. Select a figure from the options which would most closely resemble the unfolded form of figure is it. So, it is clear that in figure X, the paper has been folded from right to left. In figure Y, the paper has been folded from upper half to lower half. To making it one fourth of the virginal size. Isn't it? Now, as given in the figure Z, the cut is marked over here. So, the design of the cut will appear, the design of the cut will appear as in the figure B, which means option B. Right, so hence the option B represents the correct unfolded form, unfolded shape of the paper after the cut. Right, so for this question the answer is it's option B. Question number 7. Which of the following figures satisfies the same conditions of placement of the dots as in the given figure? So just look out so let us take this is first dot and this is second dot and third dot now the first dot share the region of circle and the second dot sharing the region of circle triangle and rectangle whereas the third, third dot sharing the region of triangle and rectangle alone right now we'll move on to the option in option a i can able to place the first dot in the region of circle alone for the second dot there is no region has been shared by the three shapes right so option a is wrong so we cannot able to place a second dot right so we'll eliminate the option a then move on to the option b here i could able to place a first dot in a circle region alone for the second dot yes we have the region which is shaded by all the three shapes to so this particular region right so i can able to place the second dot as well then what about third dot Yes, there is no region which has been shared by rectangle and triangle alone. So, we cannot able to place a third dot. 
so we eliminate or we reject the option b then option c so i can able to place a first dart in the circle region and second dart is this particular uh, region this particular region is shaded by all the three shapes and this particular region is shaded by triangle and rectangle region so now i can able to place all the three dots so this option which satisfies the same condition of placement of the dot as in the given figure so hence your answer would be it's option c question number 8 vandana walks 25 meter towards north then she turns towards her left and walks 20 meter she then turns to her right and walks 25 meter she again turns towards her left and walks 15 meter which direction is vandana facing now so now we'll draw the diagram so now we'll draw the direction consider this is the starting point of so now we'll draw the direction consider this is a starting point of vandana she walks 25 meter towards north 25 meter towards north then she turns towards her left so when facing north this would be our left and this would be our right so when she turn towards left and walks about 20 meter again she turns to her right and walks 25 meter so this is right and this would be our left she walks about 25 meter like this then she again turns towards her left so this would be our left and this would be our right and walks about 15 meter turn left and walk towards and walks about 15 meter so which direction is vandana facing now let's see draw the remaining direction first so this is east south west so finally she is facing west direction right so hence option b would be a right answer Question number nine. Select the correct mirror image of the given combination of letters and numbers. So, in mirror image, we have some rules. That is, left side of the object becomes right side. So, object means it could be a shape or image, or alphabets, or numericals also. Right. So, it can be anything. So, left becomes right, and right side of the object becomes left. That is, vice versa. and most important one is the top and bottom of the image remains same it won't be change in mirror image the top and bottom of the image remains same so for this question try to find your find the answer yourself so finally the answer of for this question is it's option b so the next question is question number 10 select a figure from the options which will continue the same series as established by the problem figures question number 10 select a figure from the options which will continue the same series as established by the problem figure so this is the given problem figure series here so let us take the first figure so in this we have four elements right this we have four element and have a look on this in each and every figure some letter has been used here which means they have followed some patterns they have followed some patterns in these letters let's find out what is the second letter from p yes it is r similarly second letter from r is its t second letter from t is its v so obviously the second letter from v is it would be x no so this particular problem figure must have contained as one of the element as x right but we don't know uh, what is the exact position of x later we will see about this right next we'll take this element so in this they have followed two rules the first rule is this particular element 
turns 90 degree clockwise direction in every move right and one more rule has been applied in this particular element that is for every two moves the middle element the middle element get eliminated after then it retain its original symbol for the next two moves right so these are the rules has been followed in this elements now we'll see what will be the answer for this question let's see what is the pattern has been followed throughout the figure in the meanwhile you must have followed the rules when shifting these two elements okay so let's see now so we have four figure uh, four figures now here 1 2 3 4 and this is also so totally we have five figures so this second figure is obtained from the first figure just by interchanging the elements in column wise here column wise they have interchanged then third is obtained from second figure just by interchanging the elements in row wise they have interchanged here you can see row wise they have interchanged similarly fourth figure is obtained from the third figure interchanging the elements in column wise they have interchanged here column wise so the next would be fifth is obtained from the fourth figure just by interchanging the elements in row wise row wise they have interchanged if you follow the rules and these steps finally your answer would be its option a is the right answer next section is computers and information technology question number 11 identify the following device it is a hands free speaker it can also connect with wifi network and bluetooth it is a virtual assistant developed by amazon options are alexa siri sophia google assistant so the right answer is it's option a alexa question number 12 dash or wireless access points typically in public locations that provide internet access to mobile devices such as laptop or smartphone options are man it's a metropolitan area network or you can say it's a medium sized network hotspot data pack lan it's a local area network so the right answer for this question is which is the wireless access point it's option b hotspot question number 13 which of the following statements is correct about loaders it is a major component of an operating system that ensures all necessary programs and libraries are loaded it places the cache memory and programs into the main memory it is used to combine two separate programs it allocates memory locations and brings programs into memory what is loaders yes it's a part of an operating system loaders are part of an operating system so the main responsible for this loaders is loading the programs loading programs and libraries responsible of loaders is loading the programs and libraries so the right answer would be its option a question number 14 identify the following it is an expansion component used in computers to receive and send audio it can be configured and utilized with the help of a software application and a device driver it converts incoming digital audio data into analog audio options are speaker sound card headphone woofer the right answer for this question is its option b sound card question number 15 match the networking terms given in column 1 with the descriptions given in column 2 so in column 1 host computer host computer is a powerful centralized computer system then peer peer network is a self sufficient computer 
then nic nic is network network interface card it's a car it's a hardware component or you can say it is a circuit board or chip which is installed on a computer right so it's a computer circuit board then tcp transmission control protocol tcp ip protocol transmission control protocol whereas ip means internet protocol so these are it would match with the network protocol in column 2 so finally which would be a right answer yes it's option d is a correct answer question number 16 what would be the output of the following program in qbasic so the first statement is clear screen second one is minus 5 is initialized to the variable a and 1 the value 1 is initialized to the variable b next they have used do while statement here the con condition is b less than or equal to 10 so this loop will get executed until this condition is true right so these are the statement which is present inside the loop so these statements would be uh, these statements would execute until the until the do statement uh, do while loop is true right so now we'll see how it works so after initializing these variables to corresponding variable this do while loop get executed so what is the condition here b less than or equal to 10 yes 1 is less than or equal to 10 then it will go inside the loop so the loop statement would be executed which means print a so the value of a is minus 5 so afterwards the value of a and b get iterated by sorry get incremented by 1 right so which means the value of a becomes 4 and this becomes 2 now do while statement execute to less than or equal to 10 it is true then it will print a so minus 4 it will come then loop next the value of a get incremented by 1 so this becomes minus 3 this becomes 3 so here 3 less than or equal to 10 it is true so then print the value of a is minus 3 then again it will go goes on like this like it will come minus 2 here it will become 4 4 less than or equal to 10 then value of a is minus 2 then value gets incremented by 1 so this becomes minus 1 this become 5 so 5 less than or equal to 10 then value of value of a is here minus 1 right then it becomes 0 this becomes 6 so here 6 is less than or equal to 10 so the value of a is 0 here then it becomes 1 it becomes 7 so 7 less than or equal to 10 which means I have to print the value of a here the value of a is 1 then it becomes 2 it becomes 8 then it will check the condition 8 less than or equal to 10 it is true then print the value of a here it is 2 then it becomes 3 it becomes 9 then condition will check so it will print the output as 3 right next it the value of a get incremented by 1 it becomes 4 and this becomes 10 so 10 less than or equal to 10 so it is true so the value of 4 so the value of a would get uh, print then value of a and b would incremented by 1 it becomes 5 here it becomes 11 here now 11 less than or equal to 10 it is false so the loop statements won't execute right so finally your output is its option b question number 17 which of the following statement is incorrect regarding registers so first what are registers yes it's a type of computer memory registers are the type of computer memory so the now options are they are used to quickly accept store and transfer data and instructions that are being used immediately by cpu yes it's correct then it is a special high speed storage area or a temporary storage area built into a cpu this is also true 
they refer to the group of latches that store a single character it is also correct about register they may hold temporary deleted data from recycle bin so it is incorrect about registers hence option d is the right answer question number 18 dash is a search engine that sends queries to several search engines and either aggregates the results into one master list or categorize the results by the search engines they come from options are web search engine meta search engine networking engine beta search engine so the right answer is it's option b meta search engine question number 19 in which of the following type of network topologies various star networks are interconnected via bus networks as shown in the given image options are hub topology ring topology mes topology and tree topology so the right answer is star networks are interconnected via bus networks it's option d it's a tree topology question number 20 identify the following printer it is a type of non impact printer it prints one page at a time hence it is also referred as a page printer it uses a toner to print on paper options are band printer laser printer chain printer and dot matrix printer so the right answer is it's option b laser printer question number 21 which of the following options can be used to print a specific selection on a worksheet rather than printing the entire worksheet in ms excel 2010 in option margin tab then you have to say, click set print area group then you have to select print then option b is i have to click on size step then you have to choose set print area group then you have to give print then option c is i have to click on print area tab then you have to select set print area group then you have to click the print then last one is i have to you have to select the page layout tab then, then you have to click on page set up group then click on print area afterwards you have to set the print area so the right answer for this question is which option is used to print a specific selection on the worksheet rather than printing the entire worksheet so here it's option d is the right answer for this question question number 22 which of the following methods protect can be used to sensitive data by converting it into the secret code that hides true meaning of information options are encryption copyright firewall captcha the right answer is it's option a encryption question number 23 what would be the output of the following program in q basic so the first statement is screen statement and second one is color statement third one is clear screen statement and the next three lines it would be line statement then end of the program so the question is what would be the output of this program so when you executing this program you will be getting a graphics as a output isn't it so whenever you are executing a program with graphics as a output you must have used these two statements in the starting of the program itself right screen and color statement that's why they have given these two statements in the top then afterwards they have given the clear statement then they have used line statement now i'll tell you what is the syntax for the line statement so line x1 comma y1 hyphen x2 comma y2 right so what is this what is this x1 y1 and x2 and y2 these are nothing but coordinates as you all know if you want to draw a line segment you must have you must have required two points to draw a line segment right for example i can draw a line segment with these two points so this point had the coordinates x1 comma y1 and this is the coordinate of the second point right next we'll put a comma 
afterwards they have used some parameters or some arguments they have passed it's nothing but color attribute color attribute so this color attribute would sets the color of the line to be drawn right now we'll move on to the program now we'll move on to the program after executing these three statement the pointer will come here here this coordinate is nothing but starting of a line and this is ending of a line right so when this line get executed you will be getting a line like this for example this is this is an example this is an assumption right so the coordinate of the point the coordinate of the starting point of this line is 160 comma 30 and coordinate of this point is 250 comma 180 so after executing this statement the pointer will move to the next statement here starting point of the next line is 250 comma 180 and ending point of the next line is 70 comma 180 just carefully look into this both the coordinates are same so which means the second line which are going to be drawn would start from this point and ending ending at this particular coordinate right so again after executing this statement the pointer will move on to the third statement here this is the starting point of the state line and this is the ending point of the line again you carefully look look into these two coordinates both are same which means the third line would start from this point and ending to this point so finally you will be getting a triangle finally you will be getting a triangle so what would be the output of this program yes it's obviously option c triangle is the right answer Question number twenty-four: Which of the following statements is correct regarding fifth-generation computer? Option A: The main goal of this generation is to develop the devices which could respond to natural language input and are capable of self-learning and self-organization. Option B: UNI VAC and ENI AC computers are examples. of this generation of computer the development of the integrated circuit was completed in this generation of computer they were often enormous in size and take up the entire room so here what is uni vac and eni eni ac right so the uni vac is a universal universal automatic computer it's a first generation computer and eni ac is nothing but electronic numerical integrator integrator and computer right so this uni vac and eni ac is not a fifth generation computer and the development of integrated circuit was completed in fifth generation no the development of integrated circuit was completed in third generation itself right so again c is also wrong so next option d is they were often enormous in size yes the first generation computers are in enormous size and it would take up the entire room so option d is also wrong so finally which is your right answer yes it's option a so the fifth generation computer is to develop the device which could respond to natural language input and are capable of self learning and self organization so option a is the right answer for this question question number 25 what would be the output of the given formula in ms excel 2010 equal to they have used mod function and two arguments are passed that is 5 comma 2 so 5 mod 5 comma 2 means 5 is the dividend whereas 2 is the divisor so when you divide 5 with 2 so 2 twos are 4 and the remainder is 1 so this is quotient and this is remainder so this mod function will returns the remainder will returns the remainder after a number is divided by a divisor 
So what would be the output for this? Yes, it's option B. 1 is the right answer. Question number 26. Identify the network cable from the given image. Options are coaxial cable, fiber optic cable, twisted pair cable and radio transmission cable. So the right answer is it's option C. It's twisted pair cable. Question number 27. The Q1 icon is used to dash in a document of MS Word 2010. Record macro, view macro, switch macro and pass macro. So this icon represents its option A, record macro. Question number 28. Which of the following Hardware is used to read the information from the stripe of magnetic material present on credit cards. Options are QR reader, magnetic stripe reader, barcode reader, digital reader. So the right answer is it's a magnetic stripe reader. Question number 29. Cell phone network and satellite communication network are examples of Wireless network, wired network and option C is its massive network and light wave network. The right answer is cell phone network and satellite communication network are examples of wireless network. Option A is the right answer. Question number 30. What would be the output if you type the given formula in cell C1? in MS Excel 2010. So this formula is assigned to the cell C1. Suppose if you are having like this C1 is equal to A1 plus B1. This address A1 refers to this particular cell and this address B1 refers to this particular cell. Right. So A1 holds 10 and B1 holds 5. When you are adding you will be getting 15. So this 15 would display or get stored in the value of C1. Right. But this is not the case. Here they have inserted a dollar sign in each part of this cell reference. Right. They have inserted a dollar sign in each part of the cell reference. So what does that cell, uh, sorry, what does that sign refers to? Yes, this is absolute reference. This dollar sign, it's nothing but absolute reference to the cell. Which means this particular dollar sign fixes the reference to a given cell so that it remains unchanged so that it remains unchanged no matter where the formula moves what which means so the output of the cell would be its 15 right just copying the same formula to the next cell that is c2 again you will be getting 15 again if you are copying these cells to this this part again you will be getting the answer 15 so what does it mean? Yes, this absolute reference to the cell A1 and B1, wherever the formula is, wherever you are copying the formula or you are moving the same formula to anywhere, it always refers to the cell A1 and B1. That's why you are getting the same output in, in different cell values of C1. Right. So finally, what would be your answer? It's option A. Question number 31. Which of the following is an area in the main memory that is used to temporarily store or hold the data that is being transmitted either between two devices or between a device and an application? Options are defragmentation, buffer, operating system and booting. So the right answer is it's buffer. It's an area in the main memory which is used to temporarily store or hold the data. So option B, buffer is the right answer. Question number 32. Identify the following. A computer virus that infects a storage device's master boot record. It exists on storage media such as hard drives or occasionally CDs and DVDs. So what is the virus? It's boot sector, file injector, polymorphic and web scripting virus. The right answer is it's option A boot sector virus. 
question number 33 select the incorrect match supercomputer so IBM summit is the example for a supercomputer then optical storage flopper disk floppy disk is a magnetic disk storage device magnetic disk storage whereas optical storage example for optical storages are CD ROM CD and DVD and so many are there flash drives these are all optical storage device then macbook is an example of notebook and bing is an example of one of the example of search engine so which is incorrect match over here it's option b question number 34 Seema wants to type the name of successive months or days in a row or a column which of the following options would she use in ms excel 2010 options are formatting numbers formatting cell autofill and filter so the right answer is she has to use autofill options so that she can able to Question number 34, Seema wants to type the names of successive months or days in a row or a column. Which of the following options would she use in MS Excel 2010? Options are formatting numbers, formatting cell, autofill, then option D is its filter. So the right answer for this question is it's option C, autofill option. Question number 35, which of the following options states the incorrect difference between function and formula in MS Excel 2010? Option A, function is a predefined calculation and formula is an equation designed by a user. So the option 1 is correct. Then option B, it is a piece of code designed to calculate specific values and are used inside the formula. And it contains values reference to cells, define names and function. So option B is also correct. Then option C, it begins with equal sign. So the functions would start with the equal sign. Whereas in formula it always begins with the capital letters only. So this particular statement is wrong regarding formula because all the formulas would start with equal sign only. Right. So option C would be the incorrect difference between the function and the formula then option d is examples of function so some function minimum function and maximum functions are are used and examples of formula here they have just added uh, two cells here also they have added to some numbers here they have used some expression so this is the correct way of using the function and formulas in excel 2010 so this option d is also correct Whereas, which one is wrong? Yes, it's option C would be the incorrect difference. Hence, option C is the right answer. Question number 36. What would be the output of the following program in QBasic? Let's read out the program. The first one is clear screen statement. Second, here we are having two loops. This one is outer loop. This is inner loop. Here, the outer loop is initialized with a variable i with the value 5 to 1. So, this is the iteration count. So 5 to 1 times it will get iterated and the step count is minus 1 which means every time this outer loop is executed the value of i becomes 5, 4, 3, 3, 2, 1 which means the count will go in backwards. Right. Next inner loop is assigned to the variable j uh, with the variable j and initialized with the value 1 to i. So what is 1 to i means already the value of i is 5 here so if this condition is true means it will move on to the inner loop here 1 to i means the value of i is 5 no so 1 to 5 which means this inner loop is going to be iterated for 5 times and these two are the loop statements right until this inner loop get fails these two statements get executed right get executed and one more thing is here we are using semicolon so a print statement with a semicolon means it used to display 
the values one after another like this one after another which helps you to display the values one after another now let's see how it works first condition for i is equal to 5 to 1 right so it will move on to the inner loop this first outer loop is condition is true means it will move on to the inner loop here the inner loop condition is true so that this loop j get iterated for five times and these are the loop statements so the output the output of the so this j loop is going to be iterated for five times in this five times these two statement is going to be executed so the output of first line would be 1 2 3 4 5 right so afterwards the j get incremented so what will happen j get incremented becomes 6 to 5 so condition is false here so the inner loop execution will exit the inner loop execution will stop and it will come to this point print So this print statement helps you to move the cursor to the next line right afterwards next time which means the value of i get incremented here the step count is minus 1 so the value of i becomes 4 so here the loop value inner loop value changes to 1 to 4 which means this loop is going to be iterated for 4 times again the loop statements will executed like this 1 2 3 4 the moment the value of j sorry the moment the value of 4 is printed the value of j would incremented now the condition would become like this 5 to 4 so this is false so the execution of the inner loop will stop and again the execution point will come this statement that is print statement so the cursor will move to this next point so again the value of i becomes 3 then inner loop becomes 1 2 3 so this loop is going to be iterated for three times and it would print the loop statements like one two three uh, once again the once again the value of j get incremented it becomes four so four two three is false no this condition is false no so this inner loop uh, will stop the execution and again it move on to the next statement that is print so the cursor will come this place and the value of i get decremented so it becomes 2 so the inner loop becomes 1 2 2 so this means this loop is going to be iterated for 2 times so the loop statement will executed 1 2 right now again the next j means what is next j the value of j would incremented but the condition will be failed why because 3 2 2 is false condition no so the inner loop execution will get stopped again the statement will execution point will come to the next statement print again the cursor will move on to the next line so next i means here one so the i value becomes one so this i value is initialized to the j like this one to one so one to one means this loop will get iterated for one time and it will execute this loop statement which means one will be displayed what will happen now yes again the j value get incremented but the condition will be failed two to one so inner loop inner loop will stop the execution as well as if the i value is get incremented it becomes zero so zero is not our condition so this outer loop will also stop its execution and finally the program will get ends so finally what would be the output of this program yes this is the output of the program so hence the answer is its option a Question number 37. When evaluating magnetic tapes, which of the following statements does not hold true? Options are data on a tape is accessed and processed sequentially. It is a secondary storage device. It is the fastest medium for storing and accessing data. The surface can record data by magnetization. So what is no, what you, which is incorrect about the magnetic tapes yes it's not a fastest medium 
for storing and accessing data so in order to overcome this overcome this magnetic tape nowadays we are using yes we are using optical storage device right so it's not a fastest medium for storing and accessing data hence option c is incorrect about the magnetic tapes question number 38 identify the following feature of ms word 2010 it can point to other web pages websites graphic files sounds email addresses and other locations it is usually underlined and appeared as a different colors so options are macros hyperlink bookmark and mail match so the right answer is so which feature will point to web pages websites graphic files and sounds and it always under uh, it always denoted with an underline and appeared as a different color yes which one is it it's, it's option b hyperlink mark hyperlink option it's option b is a right answer then question number 39 Question number thirty-nine: Which of the following category view of control panel in Windows Seven will help to adjust system volume, change system sounds, and manage audio devices? Options are: the first option is system security option. Then option B is network and internet option. then option c is it's hardware and sound option hardware and sound then option d is it's programs so which option would help us would help to adjust system volume change system sounds and manage audio devices yes it's option c hardware and sound option question number 40 which of the following options of control panel will give access to change the theme desktop background sound effects and screen saver in windows 7 option a it's personalization icon and this one is mouse option and this one is power option and this option is desktop desktop gadgets desktop gadgets so which option of control panel will helps us or he will give access to change the theme and desktop background sound effects and screen saver yes so obviously it's option a personalization option question number 41 which of the following options allows you to create different slide shows within the same presentation in ms powerpoint 2010 so this first option option a this is custom slide show this is custom slide show and this is broadcast broadcast slide show these two option you can find under slide show tab these two these two option you can find under slide show slide show tab whereas this option is slide master icon you can find the slide master under view tab of ms powerpoint okay then this one is this is different this is action where can you find yes in this is action option you can find under insert tab you can find under insert tab so the question is if you want to if you want to create a different slide shows within the same presentation for this we need to go custom slide show its option a is the right answer question number 42 which of the following statement is incorrect about url uniform resource locator name on internet options are it never contains spaces it always uses a forward slash 
it can start either with http colon double slash or https colon double slash and option d is it must be written in uppercase so which is incorrect about yes the url won't be written in the form of uppercase so option d is the right answer for this question question number 43 which of the following is an online storage service option a it's instagram it's a social media app whereas avast is a antivirus software it's a software security software and this one is twitter it's a social media application whereas this is google drive app google drive it's application which is used to store a data in cloud right so that is online storage service option d is the right answer question number 44 which of the following statement holds true about control panel icons in windows 7 statement 1 so this icon represents microphone 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 is used to start using your voice to control your computer and statement 2 this is sound option this is a sound option is used to change the sound scheme for your computer so both the statements statement 1 uh, as well as and statement 2 both are correct right so hence your answer would be it's option c both statement 1 and statement 2 is a right answer for this question question number 45 select the correct statement regarding google earth it represents 3d view of earth it is a translation service it is an operating system for wearables it is a video calling service the right answer is it represents 3d view of earth the next section is achiever section question number 46 which of the following is a free protection software provided by microsoft for windows 7 Windows 7 based computers to protect them from a malware and spyware. Option A is personalization, option B is Windows update, and option C is Windows defender and option D is its credential manager. The right answer is it's option C Windows defender. Question number 47. Aman has selected the data for creating a chart. which of the following shortcut keys creates a chart immediately but it might not might not be the best chart for the data in ms excel 2010 the first shortcut key is alt plus f11 so when you press these keys it will opens microsoft vb editor it will opens microsoft vb editor application right next when you press alt plus f1 key it would embed a new chart in the data sheet when you press control plus f11 yes this would create a macro data sheet it would create a macro sheet then option d is control plus f1 when you press this key control plus f f1 it would hide or display the ribbon display the ribbon so what is the question here what is the question here which of the following shortcut keys creates a chart immediately yes when you press alt plus f1 it would embed a new chart in the data sheet right so hence option b is the right answer question number 48 a slide master view is used to change the design and layout of the master slides which of the following options of the slide master tab can be used to change the overall design for your slides in ms powerpoint 2010 you can get this slide master view option under view tab under view tab there you can find the slide master view right so if you want to change the overall design of your slides of your slides 
so which option of the slide master tab would helps you yes obviously its option themes would helps to change the overall design of your slides hence option b is the right answer for this question question number 49 identify the following feature of ms excel 2010 it is used to create a link to a web page a picture or a program it can be accessed by by pressing the shortcut key that is control plus k so now the options are so option a this icon refers to object icon so this would embed a object and option b this would insert a hyperlink this option is hyperlink option then option c is this option is smart art option then last one is it would insert a signature so this option name is signature line so the question is to create a link to a web page or a picture or a program for this we have to use this hyperlink option so option b is the right answer question number 50 select the odd one out option a this icon represents pen interest pin interest then this is instagram then this one is facebook and the last one is it's flipkart so the odd one is it's option d flipkart so these three are it's a social media social media application whereas flipkart is a e-commerce website or app it's a e-commerce website right so which is the odd one out here it's a flipkart icon is the odd one out hope you all like this video thanks for watching